Just before we dive into the video, I want to let you guys know we have an awesome giveaway running right now with the guys over at Gamer Chic for everything you see on screen. If you want to get involved, be sure to click that link in the description box down below. And if you want to save some money on buying Iceborne in the UK, then you can go over to their website and use the code ARIXGAMING, which makes it one of the cheapest places to buy right now. Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And today, I wanna to bring you a first look at Rajang in action. Of course, if you guys saw the video the other week, just before Iceborne launched, we know that Rajang is slated to be the first DLC or kind of expansion monster, so to speak, kind of like Devil Joe was in World. He's gonna be coming in October, and we finally had a confirmed release date, October 10th. So basically, a month from now, Rajang is going to be added to the game, and it's incredibly exciting. He is one of my favorite monsters, and as you'll see in this gameplay, he is quite the aggressive opponent. So today, it's of course Tokyo Game Show, or TGS, and during that, Capcom had a live stream, and they went face-to-face -face with this monster. Now, I'm assuming based on the cutscene that we're probably going to encounter it firstly in, you know, the new region, but... After that, you'll of course be able to fight it in the arena, and for the purposes of TGS, they had a demo set up, and you could fight him in the arena, and, uh, ooh, it's, it's really cool to see him in action, because it's nice to see he is just as aggressive as ever. Tokura san who is of course the director of Monster Hunter World, he is the person that was actually responsible for making Rajang. In fact, uh, Andrew, the localization director, put up a tweet today basically saying that back in Monster Hunter 2, Tokura basically had to make this monster all by himself without any advice or any help from anyone, which is why it turned out so powerful. He's actually one of the people behind quite a lot of the kind of aggressive monsters, things like Rajang, I believe T-Rex, also Nogante, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, when he when he makes a monster, you know it's going to be rough, like in a good way. I mean, the fight's going to be rough. It's going to mess you around. He's not afraid to throw something like double Rajang at you because uh, that's just the kind of guy he is. But anyway, that aside, Rajang in Iceborne is looking really, really cool. Now you'll see in this fight, I mentioned before in the other video, if you guys saw it, the Rajang has two states. If you guys have played before, then of course you'll be very familiar with this. If you are new, then Rajang starts off in his dark black fur form. He's of course this kind of, you know, aggressive looking AP. He's still pretty fast in this form, but this is basically his tame form, so to speak. During this time, of course, you'll have a flurry of punches to rush at you. He jumps around and moves around a lot, so you're definitely going to want to be like on your toes and be moving quite fast because he doesn't hang around. Greatsword users are can be quite hard to try and get that that big chop lined up but either way he'll jump around he'll throw you he's got moves where he jumps up in the air and does like a sonic spin into the ground but what this really all builds up to is when he goes into super saiyan form when he goes into the angry form he gets enraged his fur turns yellow he literally does go super saiyan and at this point he becomes faster even more aggressive he'll grab you he'll dash you against a wall he's got a kind of kamehameha beam that he can fire out of his mouth and when he does his kind of aerial slam attack, sometimes this can actually be done consecutively. In this kind of gameplay, we actually only see it being done once, but I think more so to when I was fighting like Furious Rajang in previous games, he would chain three of these together. But either way, when he jumps up in the air, you definitely want to be running because if you get caught by that slam and he literally just like sonic slams you into the ground, you're probably going to die. So you want to watch out for that for sure. Now, obviously, one of the things you want to be doing with this monster is it's kind of one of those sort of like counterintuitive things because he's weakest at the head so obviously you want to attack the head to break the horns because you need that for the armor but that's also where he's kind of most dangerous so uh yeah have some fun with that <laughs> but anyway for the time being i'm gonna let you guys watch this gameplay it's worth noting that rajang has always been pretty weak to ice so uh that's pretty ballsy him showing up in ice spawn when there's a lot of ice weapons especially when elemental damage has had a buff and uh, you can do some insane elemental damage so I'm kind of hoping they make him even more aggressive just to try and counteract that fact. But either way, I honestly cannot wait to fight him. Always had really cool armor, really cool weapons. Hopefully all the weapons make it in and they don't get kind of balked or turned into iron versions. Fingers crossed for that. But this is a quick look at some Rajang in action. Of course, stay tuned because as and when we get to go hands on with it, or as and when we get to actually fight it and, you know, take a look at the armor and stuff, I'll bring you guys updates. And of course, there's plenty more Iceborne content coming your way later on this week. Ah. お、狙っ
辻本さん、辻本さんに変えましょう。辻本さんに変えましょう。大丈夫ですか。はい、ボランと投げられ、これですね。これ、これはもうね、食らいたくないやつ。あ、でも、食らいますね、わざと。はい、<笑>わざと。わざと食らいますね。<笑>わざとですからね。いや、あのー、今回つかみからの。はい、あ,あ,あ、じゃあ。<笑>あの、つかみからの投げ。ぶっ飛ばしからの追撃がかなり、はい、ラージャンあのタイトになってます、はい、なのでしっかりあの弾きくるみとかそういったスリンガーのサ,サポートでこうラージャンを追いやっとかないと結構食らってしまうので、はいえっと、スリンガーをうまく使うようにあ来た来た来た来た心がけてもらいたいです、ね、腕がほら赤くなってますねはいでこれ腕が硬化すると肉質が硬くなってきたりまあ攻撃力ももうダントツに上がってくるのでこの状態が今、ラージャンでは一番最強な状態ですねで結構ね、これでクラッチクローとかやりたいんですけど結構暴れるからそうです、ね、結構狙ってやらないと今のも新しいアクションですね、か前はとにかく硬いんでちょっとこ,ここは後ろ側に回りたいですかね。うんなんかやってくるかなでえっとねまあラージャンの特徴いろいろいやちょっと待って<笑>ちょっとこう罠とかを仕掛けちゃってもあ罠とか仕掛けちゃいます持ってんのはいちょっと待ってねあ持ってんの,ってんの,ってんのあっめっちゃ罠やってみましたよ、ね、おっいきますおいおいおいおいしびれちゃいますいやちょっとねちゃいます辻本さんの画面にしますうんちょっと待って待ってますあ見てないですねあんまり<笑>松本君、辻本さん、よく見れますよ、これで。あ怒られた。で、今からこう、あ,あ松本君の画面に、あ今やってたね。<笑>ごめん。はじけくるみで、それを回避しました、最後。回遅れました。あほらほら、もう壊しよった。ほらね、ま、だ壊しよった。壊しよるっていうね、あの結構、結構なことをしてきます。で今の攻撃も、結構。はいあの食らっちゃいけないやつなんでやばい食らった仲間ばっかりやん<笑>食らった仲間やつばっかりやばいやばいやばいほら<笑>あれあら土屋さん普通に<笑>じゃあやっぱりあの怒ってるのを何とかしたいっていうのはあるのではい、まあ、これはですねちょっとうまく壁に壁にぶつけられるかな壁の方に誘導ですかまだ怒ってはるんでねちょっとね今ちょっとやりにくいですねあいけるいけるいきますね壁にぶつけられるからよいしょじゃあ一通り見せたんでねあのこっからはちゃんとそれなりにやりますじゃん<笑>それなりにやりますさあおおしびれてますねやりますね松本くんそうですねやっぱこの辺の肉質を柔らげていくっていうのはもう基本ですね、はい、前足おっあっいたあいってないかあっまたかまた終わりましたね怒ったら結構暴れるんですよ本当にこれねそうですねでこの時前側が結構強力なんですけどあのー、尻尾側、はい、尻尾側をちょっと狙っていきたい感じなんですそうすることでこう怒りを収めていけるので怒ってる時はそういう尻尾側を狙っていった方がいいかなと思いますね、はい、乗りましたなお辻本さんが乗ってますか辻本さん乗ってる。乗ってる。辻本さん乗り得意ですもんね。得意です。乗りが得意な辻本さんが今やってますね。これね乗りのポイントはね、はい、結構ねちゃんとね移動とかを混ぜた方がいいんです。耐える時とかもちょっとね移動とかを混ぜ込んでね、はい、うまいことをあの攻撃のターンを増やすっていうのが乗りのポイントなんですね。やばい。やばいって。む
ちゃ怒ったやばいやばいやばいやばいよいしょあいああいうのがあんまり来なかったんですですかねまあ一通りこんな感じですかこんな感じですかねあのーはい、本当はもうちょっと見てほしいもんがあったんですけど、はい、なかなか出さないね出さないんで<笑> I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also, don't forget you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.